Top of the news at 5.30, though, take a close look at this video. You'll see a highlighted person right there. Fort Myers police say this is the main suspect in an ongoing homicide investigation. Right now, there's a memorial for the victim, too, Jermaine Harrell. He was found shot multiple times outside of his apartment. His apartment is at the Sunterra Apartments along Evans Avenue in Fort Myers. Mike News reporter Ashley French live outside the apartments right now. Ashley, any new tips on finding the suspect? Well, the Fort Myers Police Department is still looking for is still looking for rather new information as to who killed Jermaine Harrell and released new video on the suspect today. And the family, all they want to know is simply why. Here at Sentara Apartments along Evans Avenue in Fort Myers is where 39-year-old Jermaine Harrell's life ended. I wasn't here. I had came up after the fact. I just heard the gunshots. I watched him take his last breath when I was doing CPR. Like, no matter how much I want to say it's a dream, like I know it's not a dream. Yeah. And when I close my eyes, I see my brother laying on the ground every night. His brother, William Simmons, and his friend, Miguel Sepulveda, were with him moments before the shooting. Both say Harold was waiting for an Uber to go see his daughters. That's when police say a suspect shot and killed Harold. In this video, you can see the suspect faintly running off in a hooded jacket from behind. And then he took off in a black car. I heard it's anywhere between three to six shots, I think. I know I heard two consecutive ba bang and then I heard ba 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 bang. So it could have been about five to six shots. He's never out here by himself the one time that he's by himself this happens. It's strange. Both say Harold always had a positive spirit and a smile that brought joy to those around him. So it like I'm missing a part of me. Like he he the person that like made me who I am today. Like growing up, it was just us two growing up. We had other siblings, but we and him we was like thick and thin. Relationship we had pretty much was just a normal brother relationship. Like, like he was just always a good person to be around. Good spirit, good heart. Now friends and family memorialize him and want the person who did this to come forward. He did it to the wrong person. He was a good guy. Nobody deserves this. No, no family deserves to grieve the way this family is grieving. And if you happen to know any information of just about this crime, you're encouraged to call the Southwest Florida Crime Stoppers or the Fort Myers Police Department. Live in Fort Myers, I'm Ashley French, Link News.